So hello and welcome. This video will serve as a brief introduction to the high poly to low poly playlist. Um, this playlist is centered around some asks I had about uh, the process I use for taking a high poly mesh that's intended for 3D printing and converting it to a low poly mesh with all the layers and textures needed to import it into Tail Weaver um, or Tail Spire, or really, honestly, this can work for a lot of other Unity games as I understand it. So in this series, I start by explaining a little bit about the core concepts, what are the different parts needed and why. I then go into how to take those high poly meshes, break them down, clean them up, and create a normal map of them and what that is. I then go into texture painting, followed by a PBR example, which is how you get metallics, roughness, light, that kind of thing. After those main four videos, there will be a smattering of shorter videos, uh, whether they're a watch me work video or how to do something smaller. There might also be the what I call the quick version, where I try to do all the steps much quicker with no explanation, because I recognize that in the main playlist, the three core videos are each an hour long. I did them that way because I feel like it's a good opportunity to learn not only from my mistakes, but from my explanations. So those longer videos go into a lot of detail. Uh, they also assume that you know nothing about about Blender and nothing about models and modeling or texture painting and things like that. They're truly intended for the beginner to use. But before we dive into the series, I want to go quick to comment because it comes up a lot in discords where people ask about, oh, I've got this model from Hero Forge, or I bought this model off my mini factory and I want to convert it over into Tailweaver or this game or something. Um, keep in mind that not all models you download give you the right to redistribute them. A lot of models are provided for free, but they're free for your personal use, not for you to use and post on other media, such as, you know, putting it up on the mod IO or posting it again to other sources. Just keep that in mind and be respectful when you're working. And if you're not sure, just reach out to the model creator and ask. A lot of model creators are excited to see their work to use in other ways. And for them, it's, I, I put this work out there for anyone to have fun with, go for it. Uh, other ones might say, well, actually I have already done that, but I charge for those models, things like this. So just keep that in mind uh, because we want to be respectful of the work others have done. With that all said, I hope you enjoy this series. I had a lot of fun making it. I do this for fun because I enjoy making models and I enjoy sharing the things I've learned. That's why I leave my mistakes in. <laughs> and uh, I, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments or whatever. But otherwise, just enjoy and uh, settle in and have fun creating something. Mm -hmm. 